teams from across the Midwest came to West Lafayette today to attempt perfect precision and accuracy with a drill meet. Organizers called today's JROTC meet on Purdue's campus a leadership building event. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports on the memories built during the event. 20 teams came to Purdue University's Armory Saturday in hopes they wouldn't skip a step. The university's ROTC hosted its 40th annual junior ROTC drill meet. High school teams from around the Midwest work year-round to perfect their routines in hopes for the ultimate goal. They train uh, annually uh, for competitions uh, all across the United States, uh, trying to culminate essentially in the national competitions that take place in, in, in places like uh, Daytona Beach. I think it's really great to be able to have the opportunity to bring together schools from not only all over Indiana, but all over the Midwest, and to bring them in for an event like this is really cool. The event was planned entirely by Purdue ROTC cadets. Competing teams have a list of points to hit for the judges. Timing, precision, commands, leadership, and then uh, innovation, what they come up with that's different. The precision of some of these groups, just the amount that they've practiced and have put in, how precise they can be in the entire eight-minute presentation with 20 cadets doing the same movements with a rifle, has just really, really impressed me this year. Although there will be winners and losers at the meet, many agree teams get the same benefits from competing as a cadet. It opens their eyes to discipline and, and um, leadership, and not only inside the military, but inside their community. Not everyone that commissions from here will go to the active duty side. There will be reservists and National Guard officers as well. And we want to really develop a sense of community with our cadets. The event started with just eight teams 40 years ago. Now 12 teams stronger. Cadets hope the meet will continue to grow. Reporting in West Lafayette, Kelly Roberts, News 18.